What's up guys? It's been a while since I've posted anything. It's been a busy semester. A little I've, I enjoyed living and catching up with some old friends in uh, College Station for my first semester. I've been getting comments about how I applied to this school, what's it like, what did I do to get into CSTAT, etc. So if you guys haven't already know, I've been studying engineering at Texas A&M and I'm about to become a junior. The reason why I chose to study engineering because I was interested in studying mass transit systems like this and fixing systems like this. So I like trains. I was pretty much interested from a young age and didn't consider any other options, which is good, but in other cases, some people may not be sure of what they want to do in the future, so it's good to experiment different things. During my first two years of college, a lot of interesting things has happened academically, and at one point, it was frustrating to even pass any classes. This can be universal around every school, but especially taking engineering at A&M is challenging. Anyone who's ever taken engineering knows how brutal and rigorous the process can be. So. Let's talk about why it's like this. So to skip around, we're not gonna go over this process in detail. You can watch this video over here where Trevor, it's gonna pop up. But basically the ETAM process or entry to a major is a roadmap to get into the specific engineering department you want to get into. Everyone starts at general engineering, either in Galveston, Blinn, or maybe in College Station if you're lucky. You'll take two or three semesters before applying to any departments depending on whether or not you've passed or failed the MPE test prior to freshman year. You must maintain at least a 2.0 GPA and have a passing score of at least a C for those required courses. Feel free to screenshot this. You must also attend other events like industry nights, DI Saturday, and watching this guy perform too, and later write essays about them. And finally, the most important thing of all, you'll need to choose three to five majors you'll want to consider studying and also write paragraphs about your reasons and academic strengths. The results will be determined based on completing your required courses and overall GPA. If you get a 3.75 GPA, then you'll get an automatic entry. And between 3.74 and 2.0 will be considered a holistic review between the departments. The date when the results are released will be based on how many semesters completed. It will be linked below if you want to know your timing based on your graduating year. Now the part you've been waiting for. What makes it very brutal and frustrating? Well, remember the ETAM results? Those actually get posted as far as a week before classes can begin. Which means you'll probably have to change a lot of things to fit your schedule, which may create some hassle. Students transferring from Galveston most probably are on a disadvantage because if they were to find a place in College Station, and if something were to happen, such as failing one of their classes, then it creates a whole new set of problems of them finding someone to sublease their place in CSTAT and extend the housing contract back in Galveston, which is insane. And to add to that, on-campus housing in CSTAT doesn't open until the E10 results are released. And given the short time to decide, most people are choosing to apply to off-campus months prior to sub submitting your results just to settle down and give more time on where to go from there. But if you're on your way over there, you pass your required courses and maintained above a 2.0 GPA, and all I have to do is wait and hope that those 3-5 to five majors that I've applied to will accept me into the major. So, I should be fine, right? Well, not so quite. Some engineering departments have very strict requirements depending on your overall GPA, which makes it pretty competitive. Here's a list of all the departments with the GPA you'll need. This is from 2022, so the numbers may vary from time to time. And if you didn't get into any of the majors, well, boohoo, the school will choose the majors for you, which happened to me out of all people. So, I lied about wanting to study simple engineering. Sorry guys, didn't happen. I ended up choosing something else. Some competitive departments may dismiss you if you did not score high enough like A's and B's on your classes, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, why add more stress in working to get a high score when you've worked two to three semesters trying to get into CSTAT in the first place? The classes leading up to this crucial point were very difficult to begin with, with very few great professors and a limited amount of students in a class section. A lot of people I knew that started out as engineering majors have switched to different pathways now, partly because of poor professors and challenging courses, which is insane. 
It didn't have to be this bad, but it turned out to be. Back then, it was easier to apply to any engineering departments after completing the ETEM programs at Galveston with a simple click and acceptance, according to uh, a previous student I spoke to, which is alarming considering the amount of background and portfolio that I had to give today. So to conclude, what do I think about studying engineering? <sighs> engineering at Texas A&M is tough. You do need to know some calculus, chemistry, physics, and some computer programming to establish the basic foundational pillars. Going through all the hassle, as frustrating as it sounds, but you should be fine, so don't worry. The reason why I made this video is not to shame my school for our frustrating academic experiences. I still think it's a good school. I made this video to make you guys aware of what can come at you, since life can throw curveballs at you. For anyone incoming or even current students, be prepared for anything. Do not overlook anything that is considered good enough to perfect. Always try to aim high. Use the tools at your disposal. Go to the Academic Success Center and seek help and advice. Do some research on the major and courses you will take. Look at the previous semester grades. Rate my professor. Go look at everything. We just need to boost that GPA up. Don't just solve everything on your own. Even if nothing goes as planned, don't worry. There will always be alternatives, which is what I'm still trying to understand. What do you think? How difficult is your major outside of engineering? Or how different is engineering in any other schools? Do you agree if this system is useful? I hope you guys will understand what is going on. I wish engineering was more fun and useful. Apparently, this is the reality of college. It didn't have to be this complicated, but it turned out to be. Although, I wish the system was easier if they just said yes.